فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى اله واصحابه والتابعين لهم باحسان الى يوم الدين اما بعد ان شاء الله تعالى today's benefit is going to be a benefit from uh, Amir al-Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. An advice given to Kumail ibn Ziyad. Kumail ibn Ziyad. An advice that was given to him. And this wasiyah, this advice is very famous and is very well known. Ibn Asakir, he narrated in his kitab Tariq al-Dimashqa. Ibn Abd al-Barr, he brought it in his kitab, Jami' Bayani al-Ilmi wa Fadli, and Abu Nu'aym, Abu Nu'aym, al-Asbahani rahimahullah, he brought it in his kitab, Hilyatul Awliya wa Tabaqatul Asfiya. Ali ibn Abi Talib, he said to him, Ali said to Kumail ibn Ziyad, he said, Ya Kumail ibn Ziyad, إن هذه القلوب أوعية وخيرها أوعاها للعلم احفظ عني ما أقول لك الناس ثلاثة علي بن أبي طالب he said O Kumail ibn Ziyad these hearts are containers إن هذه القلوب أوعية these hearts are containers وخيرها أوعاها للعلم the best of them is that which preserves its container knowledge or it contains in it knowledge. He said the best of them is that which preserves in its contents knowledge. احفظ عني ما أقول لك Take from me and preserve and memorize that which I'm going to say to you. So Ali ibn Abi Talib, he called Khumayr ibn Ziyad by his name. Khumayr is a tabi'i. He said to him that this heart that we have is a awi'iya, it's a vessel, it's a container. And the best thing a person can fill that container with is knowledge. Memorize that which I'm going to say to you now. Keep it in, hold it in. The people are three. The people are what? People are of three types. The first one is Alimul Rabbaniyun. The first one is one is the scholar. With him is divine legislation. Alimul Rabbaniyu is the scholar. The Alim is a scholar. Al Rabbaniyu is a divine scholar who has what? Divine laws with him. Huh? The second one is the seeker of knowledge who is also on the way to deliverance. He is a seeker of knowledge who is on the path to deliverance. Look at the third one now. Wahamajun Ra'aun. The third one is the lastly, which is the common. He's a common rot. Hamadur Ru'a is a common rot. R O T. Rot. Um, who runs after every caller. He's a Hamadun Ra'aun Atba'u Kullu Na'iqin. He runs after and he bends in the direction of every wind. And the fact that a person does not learn how to distinguish between these three people, a big problem occurs to him. And not knowing who's who. And you also, brothers and sisters, you have to realize and keep in your mind, are you a alim al-Rabbani? Or are you a muta'allimun ala sabili najat Or are you hamadun ra'a'un atba'u kullu na'iqin? Which of the three are you? 
Which of the three categories do you fall uh, under? يَمِنُونَ مَعَ كُلِّ رِيحٍ You bend and you divert and you go with every wind there is. Look what he says to them. Uh, Ali said, لَمْ يَسْتَضِيءُوا بِنُورِ الْعِلْمِ Those type, the last type of people, they seek no, no light. لَمْ يَسْتَضِيءُوا They have not ها, gained and they don't have light. بِنُورِ الْعِلْمِ وَلَمْ يَلْجَأُوا إِلَىٰ رُكْنٍ وَثِقٍ And they also, وَلَمْ يَلْجِئُوا And they also have not, they don't have any effulgence. They don't have a fulgence. إِلَىٰ رُكْنٍ وَثِيقٍ A pillar that is rooted. They don't have it. They don't have it. يَا كُمَيْلُ أو كُمَيْل Ibn Ziyad Ali says الْعِلْمُ خَيْرٌ مِنَ الْمَالِ Wealth is better than Sorry, knowledge. He says الْعِلْمُ خَيْرٌ مِنَ الْمَالِ Knowledge is better than wealth. الْعِلْمُ يَحْرُسُكَ وَأَنْتَ تَحْرِسُ الْمَالَ Knowledge safeguards you, protects you. وَأَنْتَ تَحْرُسُ الْمَالَ But wealth, it requires from you to preserve it and to look after it. Knowledge, it looks after you. It takes care of you. Whereas money and wealth, it requires you to look after it. الْمَالُ يُنْقِصُهُ النَّفَقَةُ Money, giving it, reduces it. وَالْعِلْمُ يَزْكُ عَلَى الْإِنْفَاقِ Whereas knowledge, it grows by giving it. The more you give it, the more you learn. And this is the statement of who? Abu Ishaq al-Ilbiri. He said, وَكَنْزُ اللَّا تَخَافُ بِهِ لِصَّى خَفِيفَ الْحَمْلِ يُوجَدُ حَيْثُ كُنْتَى That knowledge is what? It is, it's a treasury. It's a treasure which you don't fear any thief to come and take it from you. لا تخاف عليه لصن. There's no thief you can, it's knowledge is, is a treasure that you have, but no thief can rub it from you. خفيف الحمل يوجد حيث كنت. And it's very light to carry, and it's always found wherever you are. Wherever you are, where's Fulan? Ah, here he is. يزيد بكثرة الإنفاق منه. The more you give it, it increases. وينقص إن به كفا شدتا. But it decreases if you have a, if you have a stingy hand. Knowledge increases, decreases. If you don't give knowledge, it decreases. But if you give it, it increases for you. Whereas wealth, the more you give it. So the statement of Ali here is this. Rahimahullah, I was Haqqan al-Biri, took it from there, and that's what he said. Ya Kumail, O Kumail, Ibn Ziyad. Mahabbatu al-Alimi, O Kumail. O Kumail. Mahabbat al-Alimi. The admiration and the love. Or the adoration that a person has for a scholar. Deenun yudanu is a belief which is acted upon. Loving the scholars and admira uh, having admiration and respect for them. And love is a belief in which, which is acted upon. Tuqsimuhu ta'atu fi hayatihi. With it, a person, an individual, a man acquires obedience during his life and a good name after his death. وَجَمِيلُ الْأُحْدُوثَةِ بَعْدَ وَفَاتِهِ The person loving the scholars, having high respect for knowledge and his people, also having that knowledge with you as well and gaining that knowledge, you gain with it obedience while you're alive. If a person is a person of knowledge, whilst they are alive, they get obedience in it. They're benefiting their people, they are learning themselves and etc. But when they die, what do they also get? After they are gone, Inshallah Ta'ala, they get a good name after their death. وَمَنْفَعَةُ الْمَالِ تَزُولُ بِزَوَالِهِ The benefit of wealth, on the other hand, it vanishes, it goes, when the wealth vanishes. If the wealth goes, the benefit of that wealth goes. الْعِلْمُ حَاكِمٌ Knowledge, knowledge, it governs. It takes control over things. وَالْمَالُ مَحْكُومٌ عَلَيْهِ Whereas wealth, it requires governance. The Shaykh then said, O oh, Kumail, Ya Kumail, مَا تَخُزَّانِ الْمَالِ وَهُمْ أَحْيَاءُ The treasurers, those who safeguard wealth, they are dead even though they are, they are alive. 
Those who are protecting wealth, they are dead. وهم أحياء even though they're still alive. والعلماء يباقون and the scholars they still remain. ما بقي الدهر as long as time ever lives, as long as the world is going on, they still remain. أعيانهم مفقودة. Their existence is absence in the the fact that they're not there anymore. They physically are not there. أعيانهم مفقودة. Physically they're absent. وأمثالهم في القلوب موجودة. But their examples, their benefits, their remembrance. Is still present in the people's hearts. This statement of Khomeini ibn Ziyad, أظن أن وضوح هذه المعاني تغني عن الإفاضة في التعليق عليها. This advice that Khomeini ibn Ziyad just gave us right now, uh, sorry, Ali gave to Khomeini ibn Ziyad. This advice is clear. It doesn't require any explanation more. And so, inshallah ta'ala, let's keep in mind that the importance of al-ilm wa ahluhu and its people and how it is in comparison to money and wealth and the other things that the shay uh, imam he mentions rahimahullah ta'ala i will conclude there inshallah ta'ala subhanakallahumma bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh